Welcome to Off Grid Contractor. Guys, in this video today, I want to show you a very simple build project um, because, uh, you know, all the time we're always showing you what we do out in the field. And there's been a lot of requests uh, how to do certain things. And I thought one of the best things to do starting out this series of showing you how to build stuff yourself is everybody talks about EMP. Now, me personally, I get sick of hearing about it. I don't even care. No disrespect. I just don't because, like, Buy your stuff, and when you can, buy extra, throw it in a metalized container, and when the time comes, if you ever need it, pull it out. Well, with that in mind, I try not to just say things, I try to practice what I preach. I'm building these. These are uh, replacement diodes for your solar array. Now, what you see right here is a simple PV3 combiner box. This right here is uh, pretty much the layout we use for tiny house installs. This is pretty much the layout I use for my own personal wiring. Um, and for a lot of big jobs with the example, with the exception of that sometimes we'll put them in strings of four, but the same principle applies, all right? Now, this is a 40 amp blocking diode. You can purchase this um, through hurricanewindpower.com. Uh, we don't sell parts. We're just, I'm just an install guy, okay? The items you're gonna need though to go with this, okay, is you're gonna need a ring terminal stud right here. It's for a 5 16 stud. Excuse me just a moment, let me turn off my air conditioning unit. Right there you can see 516 stud. And then you're also going to need a female uh, push on. Okay, now these are for number 10 wire. Alright, now you can get those two in small packs. You don't have to get like a massive pack like what I've done. And now as you can see right here, what you want to do is this diode has a marker. The, the power can only pass one way. All right, so at that point, what you're going to do is you're going to push that the female stud on, but you're not going to put anything into it. I'll show you in just a minute. And then you're going to cut you a piece of short 10 gauge. You can just get 10 gauge wire if you had to in a pinch, but I encourage you to get PV wire. Just purchase a short roll of it and cut it to appropriate length, okay? And you'll strip the ends of it. All right. Once you've done that, you should end up with the following setup. All you do is just beat those ends on there, crimp them really tight if you have a crimper, and then just thread that down onto the nut. All right, now what you wanna do is take a piece of heat shrink and then put on to the wire like so. And that's just to protect that because you're gonna have this stored for a while. And I do it the poor boy style, heat shrinking this stuff. Just like so, make sure it's really nice and neat on there. All right, and then once you're done, you'll have set up just like I done a second ago. All right, so we're gonna say an EMP. Boom, whoosh, everything went down, right? All right, so if you take and go into your combiner box at that point, this will, what I'm about to do will replace the damage done to the diodes in your solar array. All right, so that what will go on at this point is that the power will not bleed back into your solar panels at night because some systems may not have charge controllers that have built-in diodes so that um, it, you know the charge controller will just let the power bleed back also. So you don't want to get into that situation. So maybe your charge controller may still be working, uh, maybe not. Our OTG boards that you'll see here very soon uh, coming up, they're, uh, we're building them EMP ready as well. Um, but at this point, you would come into your combiner box, and depending on how many breakers you have, you're obviously going to have your solar in place like that. You know, you're, 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 you don't need to worry about any of your other wiring in your system. I left this a blank box at the moment because this is what you need to focus on. I don't want you to get confused with all this other wiring because if you get any of our OTG boards coming up, this is all you'd ever need to worry about. You'll pull, the, you'll undo the screw, okay? Right here, we would go in, we'd undo this screw, we'd pull this wire out, okay? We'd just back it up, all right? We'd take our EMP diode, our replacement diode, we put it up into place, all right? Now, I'm gonna have to lay this down for a second to do this, but right before you would put that in place, what you would do is where you pull that wire back, you would actually crimp that wire up into that. Now, see, that replaced the diode, that put a diode in line. It also keeps the diode up in the box, so if for some reason this ever overheated or anything like that, there's no fire hazard. It's protected in a shielded UL listed box, okay? So at that point, we've crimped our wire back in place and you can heat shrink that too, just like we done the other, okay? You'd push that into place just like so under the breaker. Let me clip these down for a second so they won't move. 
And so we have that under the breaker. And now you can see there's plenty of room. And the way that we've designed that, the diodes lifted up out of the way of bus bars, grounding equipment, and et cetera. And then all you would do is tighten that down like so. And these breakers would obviously be off at this point. So you would just flip your breaker back on and your system would be up and running again as far as your solar not bleeding back. And this is a really simple little device that you can make. I see so many people talking about EMP and you know some people I think they just like to act like they know it all. Me, I'm just a simple guy and I think of simple solutions because most of us we all run on a budget. I mean 85% of people I work for they all run on a budget. So this is like a $10 fix, okay, instead of throwing new solar panels up on top of your roof. Um, and if you've got three of these in a string, the amperage is probably going to be between 8 to 9 amps coming in anyway. So this 40 amp block and diode is going to be more than sufficient to cover that. Um, plus, it shouldn't heat up very hot. Um, now, also, you know, you want to stay. Uh, the only thing with this is, you know, you don't want to over voltage these. Okay. So anyway, I'll put some more information in the video description below. Um, also, a link to Hurricane Wind Power where you can purchase these diodes. Guys, I'll be doing more information on EMP coming up, but this right here is a quick fix to restore the diodes in your solar system. I hope you enjoyed. And until we see you again here at Off Grid Contracting, I look forward to working for you.